So, hello, 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 fellow, 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 Earthlings, Earthlings, Earthlings. This is Earthling 64554637728. And this is my throwaway edition, the one that, well, the one, there's so many that nobody really listens to, but my topic today is the fact that I used to hate, I, I don't know that I hated my body per se, but these days I really love it. I really love seeing a glimpse and I, th I think I've already done one like this but you know what whatever so yeah as usual I am earthling yada 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 and what do I want to do I think well I'm an ex-army reservist I um, have an MBA a computer science degree I got a scholarship to go to university a long time ago travel to Seoul South Korea Caracas Venezuela um, Japan, Tokyo, um, Czech Republic, a bunch of places in Europe and stuff. And that was all fun, the Latin dance, um, ballroom dancing, gymnastics, that kind of stuff. So that's it from me. Now with respect to um, my body, as I have mentioned in some um, other pieces, podcasts, whatever, at one point I got to be... Um, 85 pounds heavier than I started out as and um, I, I just let it happen I just saw that I was getting heavier and heavier and I did not do what was needed to stop it now honestly I don't know what was needed to stop it at the time I can't even really describe to you my level of awareness or knowledge about managing my body weight um, compared to now I really I don't know what my thought process was I've, I've gotten so much more information now that I really am um, miles and miles away mentally from that person who just saw that I was gaining weight and, and just did not know I guess but it really wasn't a, too much of a concern but then at some point I realized, hey, this is not good. Um, I could see how I ended up in that position. I was eating out a lot because my girlfriend happened to be large herself um, when I met her. And we would eat out a lot. And um, whatever her favorite stuff was, I mean, I was eating that like breakfast, lunch, and dinner kind of thing, but I did. And then I was eating lots of cake and whatever was available when it was somebody's birthday at the university that I was working at in the IT department and I got bigger and bigger and bigger and um, you know I really just did whatever I thought I was started reading up on how to lose weight and a lot of it involved um, exercise which really was pointless it's really what you do with respect to the calories you consume com can completely offset anything that any amount of exercise that you're actually doing to contradict that so gaining weight losing weight it's really just about what you're eating there's no there's not enough hours in the day for you to eat whatever you want and still um, keep the weight off if you really are this person who is just nom 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 just eating there's not enough hours in the day and I'm, I'm not even exaggerating to say that you can I remember when I was running and yeah I probably did another piece on this one when I was running um, you know an hour's worth of exercise is a chicken leg in terms of calories it's a slice of cake so if it is that you want to have a slice of cake and a chicken leg and you know mashed potatoes and chips and this and that and the other and whatever there are literally not enough hours in the day for you to be able to work that off you're going to injure yourself you are going to damage your joints and you're not going to be able to recuperate it's not possible you have to stop putting stuff in your mouth anyway i'm getting away from my point my point is that you know i would grab the sides 
of, of my waist and I'd grab my belly and, and have a fist full of flab. And I would be like, oh my God, this is, I wish I could get this off so I could see my abs and whatever, whatever. And I was still not aware enough to realize that even if you'd use P90X, there are not enough hours in a day to eat whatever you want. And I thought that it was extreme to be counting calories and all this other stuff. So I, I just didn't. Um, I eventually just did this absurd thing where I was like, eat something the size of your fist every four hours. And it was, it hurt, it was painful. Um, but I managed to, to lose weight because of that. I don't know that that was something that was repeatable because it was so excruciatingly painful um, to go through that, that even if you're successful, it's not something that you are going to maintain. It's kind of like with Oprah, for example. It is literally like what I see happened to Oprah and that I think Oprah would have like a day in the life of, and she would show you that she would get up at six o'clock in the morning and run on the treadmill and do this other stuff and that stuff and she had a trainer and blah, 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 blah. And Oprah, you know, she had a slender figure or at least slender for what we knew of Oprah. And then at some point we realize, oh, she's just completely given up on that. She's not like, you know, morbidly obese or anything, but she definitely seems to have just stopped doing all the things that she was doing that had her at an enviable size, an enviable figure. So, so yeah. But, uh, you know, these days, um, as I would have said in another piece, and I just feel like saying whatever I feel like now, that, um, yeah, I, I used to be looking at my abs and, and just wanting them to be prominent even without me having to tense them and um yeah i was a little bit frustrated that i would see people who i assumed was not ten were not tensing their abs and it would just have this well-defined set of abs and i'd be like wow that's amazing that looks great and it just for me to have something similar i had to like you know tense these guys up um but what i like now is that camille nagiani um, this comedian, he is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe now. He is going to portray one of the Eternals, I believe it is, um, which is supposed to be some a group of, of mutants who have a certain powers or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, he got in shape for the movie. And I am happy to say that it could be my own personal mental wishing. I don't think so, but I'm just throwing it out there as a possibility. But I think I pretty much look like him. I feel like physically speaking, in terms of the definition of my arms, my abs, um, my chest, pretty much look like that. You know, I'm one-to-one -one mapping. And I'm pretty pleased, especially when, you know, he puts in the extra stuff that he, he did, which is that, yeah, you know, I needed a trainer and all of these people to help me to get into this kind of shape, and I couldn't have done it on my own. And I'm just thinking, well, I, I did not have a trainer. I did not have a nutritionist. I did not have a whatever, whatever. And, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much like that, so... And I don't feel that it is, oh, this is some kind of, um, this is my movie mode that I have to be in in order to look like this. Nope. This is not movie mode. This is not something that, oh, yeah, I had to, to be eating so much food. It was just so hard to just keep eating and eating and eating all the time. It was like a chore. It was like a job. Oh, you know, the kind of stuff that I had to do to, to be exercising every uh so often I had to be exercising like three hours in the gym and blah, blah, blah. Nope. I'm not doing that. I actually exercise 
for five minutes every day, five minutes. So I don't need anybody to help me to get there. It's, is it a chore? You know, it's not really a chore. What I do is I am fasting, which is not pleasant. And I never really thought that I would fast, but it's not a fast where um, I'm eating fewer calories than I need to be eating. It's a fast where I'm only eating at a specific window of time during the day and I'm eating the amount of calories that I'm supposed to be eating. So during the day, it's kind of like, okay, um, my stomach hurts because I have hunger pangs and I know how to control that. I go to the sugar bowl and I scoop out a little bit of sugar, Boop, pop that in my mouth, I'm done. Or I can have a cracker, or I can have whatever small nothing in order to make those hunger pangs disappear. So I don't have to be like, ah, I'm gonna kill everybody, I hate, and be this person that um, I have to go around after I've eaten and be like, Oh, I apologize for being like, you know, such a pain. Jeez. All right. What happened here during these intermissions, these like lags, and I may cut these things out, is that I'm clicking on my phone in order to pause my audio, right? Because there's a dog barking or there's a car passing by and I don't want that in the audio um, and I don't want to have to go back in later and cut that out because that means I'm going to have to listen to the whole thing and who wants to spend uh, however much time making the thing to begin with and then going back in and listening for stuff. But sometimes when I try to press the button to pause the audio, it doesn't pause. And here I am touching the this, this screen to get it to stop. And there's just, of course, dead air that you're hearing. And now, if I don't go in and cut that out, you're just going to hear dead air. Well, seeing as, you know, millions of people are not going to listen to this, I'm probably going to just leave that dead air in there. But, yeah, I am pretty, pretty proud of myself. You know, even the five minutes with exercise, I don't want to do it, really. But I know it's only five minutes. So, that, you know, in the middle of it, it's not really a big, as big a deal in the middle of it um, but starting it any kind of changeover that you do um, from one moment to the next always seems to be a lot more insurmountable than it really is it's not really a big deal but knowing that you telling yourself hey this is just for five minutes makes it easier to do even though I have to be doing it at a slightly uncomfortable um, level of exertion in order for it to do what it does. But at the end of the day, I'm really pretty proud of myself every time I see myself in the mirror, every time, and that is the complete opposite of how my life used to be. Um, I, I remember going to different places where, you know, the beach or whatever, and I, I was not grossly overweight. I probably wouldn't, you know, let me see. Is, is, well, I am, I am trying to figure it out. Okay, I could have been like 45 pounds heavier than I am now. And um, yeah, I guess I probably would not want to see myself in the mirror being 45 pounds heavier or 35 pounds heavier even. So I don't know if that's grossly overweight or what. It just was not something that you see in a comic book. Or something that you see on in a movie or TV. And now I'm in, I look like something that I would see in a movie or TV. And I'm like, yeah. And I did not need a team of people to guide me how to do reps a certain way or a certain intensity or a certain time of, of morning. And when do I need to drink my milkshake and make sure I use this protein, blah, blah, blah. And that protein, blah, blah, blah. I'm just fine from five minutes a day of exercising and knowing how much calories I have to consume and making sure I get the proper amount of sleep every day so that 
my body can uh, heal itself so I can do my exercise the next day without injuring myself and having to stop. And, you know, I do... It's so funny to me because I would never have really thought that it didn't make sense. But I do two pull-ups. I do two pull-ups. And I do two push-ups. That's it for pull-ups and push-ups every day. And I do a bunch of jumps and jacks. I do a bunch of squats. It's for 30 seconds. The, the you know. But anyway, I, I might talk more about this because who cares? This is my channel. I'm going to do whatever I want kind of thing. And I feel like, hey, I may as well literally stop trying altogether and just do whatever the hell it is that I want. And just see how that works. Because, yeah, it's me and mine and stuff. So maybe somebody might feel crazy enough to listen to it and, and enjoy it. I don't know how or why or what. But um, there is no point in like pretending I am this YouTuber with millions of followers or anticipating the future. I, I just need to do whatever it is that strikes my fancy at any given moment and see how that works because the other way certainly isn't working. So anyway, um, feel free to like, dislike, ignore, um, subscribe, all of that other stuff. Um, the same way that you would want someone else to react if this were your piece. Have a good one. Peace.